Hello, and welcome to today's episode. This is going to be a, a short one. I just wanted to point something out. So, I was looking through the Nintendo eShop, you know, looking for a game that might be interesting, when something caught my eye. Right down here. Uh, this appears to be an image of an actual Japanese person, right? So, I decided, you know what, what the heck, let's... Let's see what this is. So I I clicked and I, I started reading through it and I want I want to remind you. Well, we'll get to that in a second. So this is pure electric love. Everyone else, Emma Sakura, so Sakura. I I'm I can't speak Japanese. I can't say Japanese names. I'm just gonna have to live with however I pronounce it. Anyway, uh, what this game is is. Whoops, wrong button. That's that's my bad. Electric Love, a love likeness pseudo talk game. Electric Love, that is a topic in the smartphone. A little embarrassing in a conversation that pounding romance skill up. I, w I just w I just want to remind everyone, this is 2018, and these kinds of terrible translation jobs are in fact still a thing. Let's keep going. Okay, so, uh, Emma Sakura is a cosplayer's birthday November 9, blood type B type. Uh, technically, I guess that's not inaccurate to say, but the, the second type is a little redundant. Hobby illustrations karaoke. Okay, I, I get what you mean there. Costume you like, favorite cute. I have no idea what that means. I actually... I've been trying to figure out what everything is saying. So far, I think I understand the love likeness stuff there. It doesn't make sense, but I think I know what they were going for. It's like, it's this, it's this kind of game where, where, like, you got this model and you can talk to her like you're on a date. You know that kind of thing. Um, and you, I don't know. I guess this is the kind of thing that you see in smartphones. A little embarrassing in a conversation. I, I'm not sure what that means, but I think it means that you can get better at talking in embarrassing, awkward, kind of romantic situations. So it's kind of like practicing for that. I have no idea what costume you like favorite cute means. What is pure electric love? Reply to questions from her. That actually makes perfect sense. I think that's actually grammatically correct. Please, please her. A little clunky, but technically that is cor a correct thing to say. Sometimes a little annoying. Okay, you lost me now. Kakehiki? I don't even I don't even know what that word is. Kakehike, that's that's not an English word. I don't know if that was like a word that didn't get translated for some reason. It maybe it was like misspelled. I don't know. Maybe there's no translation. But Kakihiki is important for love affair. Whatever. Mail arrives according to the contents of the conversation. You also have movies attached. Okay, we're gonna break that one up. Mail arrives according to the contents of the conversation makes sense. I guess you, you, uh, depending on what you're talking with this, uh, what's her name? Um, uh, Emma? Ima? Whatever. Whatever you're talking with, uh, Sakura about, you're going to get different items in the mail. You also have movies attached. I have no idea how that relates to the first part of this bullet. Unless it means that the contents you're receiving are movies, I guess? The end of the conversation will change depending on the choice. Okay. Over 150 stories, still images, plus 8 movies. Let's aim at perfection. Well, judging from this translation job, you have missed perfection by a long shot. But let's, uh, let's go back. Conversation will change depending on the choice. Again, it's a little clunky, but I think that translation... I think that translation worked. And over 150 stories, still images, plus 8 movies. I think... 
If you take stories out, I think what they meant was over 150 still images plus 8 movies. That actually makes perfect sense if you take out stories. Let's aim at perfection, makes sense, but you didn't hit the mark. Better luck next time. How to play. Launch the application and select tell or touch. Why is touch an option? I assume you mean select or touch tell. Although even that doesn't make sense. What? Why is tell the option? That None of... One doesn't make any sense. Two, select or touch the content you want to talk to. I assume as in because there are multiple scenarios? Maybe that's what they mean by content? I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and say that's what they meant. Choose a call or touch to start love. I don't, I don't even know where to guess that. I don't even know where to start guessing at what that means. Choose a call. Maybe choose something to say to the, the lady to start love. <laughs> We're going straight to love, huh? You're not, not even gonna, not even gonna take me to dinner first. Select the option displayed on the screen or touch to advance the conversation. That actually makes sense. Select the option. I I assume it means select the option with the like with a controller or touch with the touch screen to advance the conversation. That actually makes sense. Then you got some downloadable content. But what I well it's something I noticed that I think is interesting is that the supported languages are only Japanese. There is no English option. So why is this even in the North American? Uh, eShop. This is the English American eShop. So, like, why is a Japanese only game here? Like, I, I, I mean, sure, Americans can speak English. Yeah, well, obviously. Well, I guess, I guess there are some Americans that can't speak English very well. Haha. Uh, anyway, I, I, I mean, sure, some Americans can speak Japanese, but. Wouldn't you expect if they were going to play a Japanese-only game that they would be in the Japanese side? I don't know. At the very least, if, Jap if Japanese is the only supported language, shouldn't the description be in Japanese? And at first I thought, I don't know, maybe it means supported languages in addition to English. But then, you can check a different game. Um... And you'll see, Japanese, English, Spanish, French, German, Italian, Russian. It includes English. But this one does not. And judging from the translation job here, even if it did, it would not really support English. Also, another fun little thing. Uh, right over here, we have... The exact same thing, but this time it's Moe Yamauchi. Yam... Yamo... Yamachi. You have this lady, and when you know it, it's the exact same description. The only differences are, obviously, the description about Moe. Uh... Free model. I don't know what that means. The model isn't free because, as you can see on the right, it costs five dollars to buy. Uh, birthday is May 3rd. Hobbies, games, cooking, and nap. I do really enjoy nap. Okay, that, that one, I'll admit I'm being a little pedantic on that one. Uh, the, the, her sizes are here. That's a little personal. I don't, I don't think that's any of my business. But anyway, the rest of this is the same. Uh, oh, the, uh, there is one other thing I would like to point out. Uh, this, this game is rated T for teen, but this one over here is rated M. So, it begs the question, what does Moe do that Sakura doesn't? Actually, I don't think I want to know. Uh, anyway, so that, that's, that's all. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, I just, I just wanted to remind everyone that 
in this year of 2018, and you can see the release date, this came out July 19th, 2018, that was a month ago. This game was released in 2018, and you, and still, this word soup, this um, translation job that's basically somebody dropping a dictionary in a blender and just posting whatever came out. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that if you didn't already suspect that quality control for the eShop wasn't exactly high on Nintendo's priority list, I think that this seals the deal. I, I don't think you could even make an argument that Nintendo cares. They, they just let anything on the eShop. I thought this was really funny, so I just wanted to make a video about it. I wanted to document it. Actual videos are coming soon. You know what? I want to see if these guys have made anything else. Oh, they have. Is this exactly the same game too? For Iri Kitami? Well, at least the uh, the thumbnails look a little different. Uh, love likeness. Fetish cosplay year. Wow. Hmm. An entire year of it. Wow. Fighter horn blowing. Is that a hobby? Or a euphemism? Okay, I think, I think, uh, whoa, wait, this is, this is new. Hey, romance pseudo talk game. In this work, fetish cosplayer Iri Kitami is a welcome Otiyuki blog. Please tell her with hyper deadly tension? What? My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Rotation in a good sense. While being healed, make the brain gear turn at super speed with maid, bondage, etc. Gallery image, movie! <laughs> oh man. I, I understand why this one is rated M. Uh, reply to questions from her. Please, please her. Okay, this stuff is the same. Wow, that's, uh, that's really something. I really hope that there isn't, that the eShop doesn't like keep track of the games you've looked at and then like change the featured games based on that because I really, I really don't need games like this in my feed. So why was this one released back in May? Hmm. They waited so long to release the second one and then they released the third one at like the same time. I don't know, weird. Anyway, so that's gonna do it for this. Uh, real, like, Beardicus episode, the scripted stuff, that's coming. There, I'll be making more of that soon. I've been really busy with some other stuff, um, which uh, you'll 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 notice it in the next episode, actually. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'll be. I'll more episodes are coming soon. I'll be streaming again soon. So, uh, I mean, I'd say subscribe, but I haven't uploaded in like a month, so. I, I don't, I don't feel right begging for subscriptions when it's been so long since my last video. Anyway, uh, that, that's gonna do it, so thanks for watching. I highly recommend against playing any of these games. I, I mean, I can't, I, I can't tell you to not play them, but I, I don't think I would recommend playing any of these. Uh, so that, that's gonna be it. So, goodbye!